Hi, I'm Boris, Product Manager for Gardena Pumps. And in this video, I would like to introduce to you our new Aqua Sensor system. So in this video, I would like to show you all about the Aqua Sensor system. So what are the ma main benefits of an Aqua Sensor system? What is it used for? And uh, yeah, how can it be handled properly? So as you can see, we are in the world of submersible pumps where we can um, play this nice aqua sensor system really well and uh, maybe one classical system you might know so this is the classical floating switch with this system you have a floater which includes a little ball which activates or deactivates the pump mechanically so the floater can be adjusted at different positions and the floater goes up and down depending on the water level so this is more or less um, dry running protection so it's not for accurate switching positions because it takes quite a long until the ball drops down especially when it comes to lower water levels it's almost impossible to have proper switching positions on low water levels so this is where our aqua sensor system can work really really well so this works as you can see here with a digital system on the back so there's no floater around no mechanical parts that need to be moved the water level is detected electronically so here is the sensor system and it can work really precise and it can switch exactly where you want to have it and how this works I will explain now the aqua sensor system itself is not that new for Gardena Maybe you have seen the old system, which looks like this. In theory, it's the same technology. We have a sensor that detects the water level and activates or deactivates the pump. In this case, with the old system, you have these two electrodes, which you can adjust. And then once water is over bridging the two electrodes, electricity is flowing and the pump is detected in water and then it's activated. The problem at this system is that it's quite sensitive on dirt. On maybe imagine a dirty leaf is collecting or, or overbridging the two um, electrodes and this causes that the pump won't stop anymore. And this can also cause some serious dry run issues. In addition, you have these movable parts, which are quite sensitive and can be damaged once you put it down into a hole or whatever. With the new aqua sensor system, we have the first time a fully digital system. The water level is detected in a conductive way. Maybe you know this technology from your smartphone, where you push your finger on the surface and it knows where your finger is placed. So here it's the same technology, the water is detected behind this cover so no flimsy parts nothing to move nothing that can be destroyed or harmed and in addition this system is intelligent which means it can detect dry run it can detect dirt on the sensor with bad signals so we can always avoid that the pump will get damaged in any case and how you can set up this pump i will show you now to control your aqua sensor system, it's quite important that it's out of the water. And also, the sensor must be dry, so minimum a short wipe with your hand is necessary on it. You can control everything with your finger. If you have really dry fingers, what you can do is to put a little drop of water on your finger, then the reaction on the sensor will be better. If you want to check what's going on here, first thing is, you need to plug it in. What you can see now, the aqua sensor is doing an initialization phase, which means all LEDs will be switched on after each other, then you can control if all sensor fields are working. Then after that, the highest position LED, LED number nine, will flash continuously every few seconds to give you a signal, okay, I'm in automatic modus, I'm ready, I'm waiting for water and doing the job for you. If you want to adapt the water levels for that, you can check them really easy. Here we have these little indicators on the side. So we have this eye on top, which means information. 
I push the button for a few seconds and it tells me, okay, this is my switching off position and this is my switching on position. To change this, we have this little sign with this wheel on the side. So I push this button. Then it once again shows me the current levels which are set and then all LEDs will be enlightened and I can choose my favorite positions. It doesn't matter if it's first the lower or the highest position, the pump knows what you want. So for switching on position, I choose field number five. And for switching off position, I choose field number three. This is shown once again. Once all LEDs are off, the automatic LED on field number nine will show me it's ready and waiting for water. Now your pump is ready to be placed wherever you need it. Therefore, please disconnect the power supply, take your time, bring the pump to the position you want. All settings are saved, also over a longer period, like over winter time or also over years. So no worries, all settings are saved. So I bring it to the position, plug it in, and the LEDs will then detect the water level, show the water level where it is, this is also helpful, for example, if you have a, a dark place in your cellar where you cannot really see the water level and then it can show you where the wa water level is. You can follow it and then you know when it's switched on and off. If you don't like this feature, it's also disabled. You can also disable it. It's mentioned in the manual how to do that. Okay, let's bring it to our little aquarium here next to me. I can pump the water from this basin to the aquarium, the water level will rise, which you can then follow on the LED. And once the level is reached, we have programmed before, the pump will start and it will stop on the level we have also programmed. So let's try. So you have seen the pump started on sensor field number 5 and stopped on sensor field number 3 like we have programmed before. So if you want to keep your water level as low as possible, you can use our clear water pumps which can start at 5 mm of water level. So therefore you can program sensor field number 1 as switch on and also as switch off position. It works in the same way, so you need to push the program menu, wait until all LEDs are on, then you choose field number one and then once again field number one and then this is set. What will happen then? If the water level rises and sensor field number one detects water, the pump will start. Once it doesn't detect water, the pump will stop. So in the case you have a huge area or you don't use a non-return valve and the water always goes back from the hose, this will happen that always a little water is detected. So to avoid malfunctions here, the pump will start, uh, stop after 10 minutes. But we also integrated a safety feature, which means once the water level rises again on sensor field number two, it will restart. So you can trust your pump, it will always help you. The Aqua Sensor system also has two additional functionalities. Maybe you don't want to use the pump with automatic function, so which means it should start when you want it. So maybe you want to connect it to a power plug, to a switch or whatever. So in this case you should always have an eye on your pump because it won't stop. To start this functionality, we have on the sensor this orange marked area with the symbol M. M stands for manual modus. So to start it, you need to push both buttons at once, wait for feedback, and then you will start 
see that a countdown will start. In this time, you have all your time, just disconnect the pump, take the pump wherever you need it, then replug the pump. It will do the initialization phase once again, and then the countdown will restart. Once the lowest position will detect water, the pump will start. So if you connect it to a power plug or to a switch, you will always have a little time delay before the pump starts for initialization phase. In addition, the sensor has a so-called timer function. This means that the pump will start once you want to have it and stop after 10 minutes. So for example, you want to empty your pool and during this you want to do something else. So you can go sure the pump will stop when you want it. To start this functionality, we have this gray marked area with this little hourglass symbol. So to start it, push both buttons, wait for the double flush and then the countdown will start. Once level one will find some water, the pump will start. If you want to abort it, you can use this back symbol, wait for feedback and then the pump will be back in automatic modus. So like you have seen before, once the countdown starts and the pump will be replugged, it will follow the functionality. So the manual or the timer function will start. There's only a little difference. So once the manual or the timer function already works, so the pump is moving water and I disconnect the plug, the timer function will be aborted and the manual function will always restart. So if you want to use a special plug or a, a switch, the pump can be used also in this way. So like explained in the beginning, this pump has intelligent functionalities. This means the pump can detect serious problems to avoid any damages. For example, if there is dry run, the pump doesn't have water or the impeller is blocked or the suction area or the hose is blocked, no water can be pumped out. Or in addition, if the sensor is such con congested that there is no serious signal left. So therefore, the pump will show you that there is something wrong. So in this case, you will have a double flush of all LED. And in this case, you get indicated one field, which is field number seven. So this is the error code, like I have done before. So I've started the manual functionality and no water is detected. And after three tries, it will show you this malfunction. Even if it's this error or something else, you can reset all these error messages by a simple plug off and plug in. And once you have solved the issue, the pump will start like before. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And uh, if you are interested in all the other pumps or especially the submersible pumps, feel free to have a look to our other videos. And uh, I would like to thank you and say goodbye.